We're not live yet. Yeah, we are. I thought the red man. Dude. Boom. Oh, I'm just, you know what it is when you hear this music. What is it? Every Wednesday. Well, I mean, stop. Go on. Just a live show. You never know what you might get. Every Wednesday. Welcome to the Cigar Roundtable, people. This is KK. KK from Alabama. Have my roll tied hat on today because we know what's going to happen. So, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, we'll introduce our guests. I'm DJ D. Y'all know me. I don't know where James went. Y'all know James. Darkness will be back in a minute. We have a special guest today. This is Cassie Jones. Total Flame Cigar. And this is a little bit different because normally when we have a rep on the show, we have uh, their cigars in our shop and they come, we invite them to come on and share a little bit about the cigars. You're going to be able to experience with us something new. We do not have Total Flame cigars yet in, yet in our inventory uh, and in our humidor. So uh, DJ invited Cassie to come to share with us and you can experience with us what she shares about Total Flame Cigar. Absolutely. So, Cassie, we're glad to have you. Hey, well, thanks for having me. And I understand that you used to live in Alabama, right? Hey, eight years. All right, good deal. That's all right. Yeah, I'm well, a little bit more deep south than you were. Yeah, I was on Birmingham. Yeah, you were telling me Mobile. So, so tell us a little bit about Total Flame, the Total Flame Cigar Company itself, Cassie. So the company itself has been around since 2010. <laughs> yeah, we just combined two passions. <laughs> He's back! <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. You can say the all the time. Oh, that was fine. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. And this is what we did as a company is we just combined two passions, cigars and motorbike passions. Uh, Let's keep you on the bike. Thank you. I've ridden a bike. Okay. With no when I was growing up. up. With no handlebar. I just see you on a Harley. Yeah, I've been on a Harley. Really? Yeah. I would not do a cross a Honda or cross or something. Like What's called a Honda? Why do you like that Honda? Because I just like the look and feel. I I am one of the. Remember the movie Wild Hogs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know the wannabes. Um, right. That's probably me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Don't so, feel bad. I'm just a bad woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and eat there, James. Don't mind it. So you combine uh, the love of riding plus the love of cigars. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So y'all are your tobacco and cigars are out of where? So we actually use two factories. Um, so we use one in the Dominican and one in Nicaragua. Right. Yeah. So we produce about equal amounts out of each. Okay. So, how did you come up with the different blends and the names? So, Matt, the owner of the company, yeah, he was tired of smoking Cuban. That's all he could really get in Russia. And so he was finally at a point where uh, he could go explore. And so he went straight to the source. And he spent many, many months in Dominican, Nicaragua, Honduras, sourcing tobacco. And that's where the whole idea of the total plane was born. Now, does he ride himself? Absolutely. So that's where his passion for writing and his passion yes. for cigars came together. Yes. And he actually went on a six Like a boss, I got that. Oh, you did. 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 So, which are actually got to light up now. Um, so it's an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper, a Mexican and Nicaraguan double binder. <laughs> Gives a little bit of spice. <laughs> so, and then it's Dominican and Nicaraguan underneath. Okay. This is actually the mildest thing that we make. But even though it's on the mild side, it still has a lot to it. A lot. Now, this, and this is about. Remember, right, you talk, you have a, what you call the light side and a dark side. So this is the bright light. The bright light. Yeah. Okay. So that cigar right there comes in five different colors. Okay. All right. And I'm, this I'm smoking. It's the bobber. It's the bobber, which is. What did you call it earlier? It's a, no, I ain't saying what I called <laughs> it earlier. Isn't it a, 
That's a 60 ring game? Uh, it's five by six. Yeah. Six. Mm. Oh. <coughs> well, I, I was expecting a Robusto size when I put it in my mouth and it was. Well, you know, sometimes you get surprised like oh, that. Oh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, these guys, see. The their mind goes where mine. The thing comes out of this guy's mouth. Yeah. Yes. Well, go on, okay. <laughs> so, the bobber is a 5x60. Are all of the different sizes a little bit bigger ring gauges? Or are they. Well, you know, we have everything, you know, from a little Prestorino, you know, which is 52 ring right. gauge. Right. And um, so this is actually the largest ring gauge that we have. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. And does it come only in the bottom? So that's the size. So it comes in bright line and dark line. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is the bright side, the dark side. So what? What is he has? So he's actually smoking the wild one, which is one of our new sticks. Um, yeah, that we released this year. Is there a particular reason why you gave him the wild one? <laughs> it's a good stick. He picked it. <laughs> why did you go off the name, huh? Yeah. He, he, went off, he went off the name. Well, I've been waiting on this particular cigar that was supposed to be named after a certain person for the last few years. And it finally happened. And after we. Well. <laughs> So I acted up a few times. Yeah. They named the cigar. So they named the cigar after you? Well, I'm not that wild. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> I was going to say, oh, man. Something I did. The coffee is kind of good. The coffee is good. The burger is good. The burger's good. Well, okay, so good. this is one of the new ones. Y'all had, this came out at the show in July? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is my first cigar of the day at the school bar. Okay. What is what does James have? Okay, let me finish. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you guys going to be wild? Wild things. The wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Okay. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Wild things coming out. Let me finish with this. Dominican Binder, and Dominican and Junior in Nicaragua in the cellar. And Julio. And That's not the sauce that goes on here. That's your bowl. You eat your bowl? Yeah. You eat your bowl? 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 You eat there's another outbreak. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about the sauce. I'm talking about the sauce. Chipotle sauce. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. That's right. We'll take you down now. Yeah, I don't know. I just heard you. You got to play that. Okay. So, now, say this is Ecuadorian Sumatra rap. That is good.
So now I notice you, you haven't got off this, don't you? I just said this did she have a rick rack pedal on her? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a I guess. Or the other thing is, you have to go out. I was out. a very honorary child. We had equal opportunity to keep That was just what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you had the rick rack and you were what close you to the woods, you had to go out and you cut your own switch. Oh, they have to back in there. Have you ever got beaten with a Hot Wheels race track? You know what I mean? They don't know what time it is. Right. Oh, no! The race track. 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 Equal opportunity. Whatever was available. You were right. It was uh, cut your own switch, a rick rack paddle, or dad's belt. Ooh, I hated dad's oh. belt. I hated Man, that. dad's belt. And you better hope he cleared it in one pool. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, so we can get off this one first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you remember the famous line? She wouldn't look like you're going to beat you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. One time, one, I have, as you know, I have a twin. My twin and I got into trouble, so my dad came up with the idea that we were going to administer the whipping for each other. Mm -hmm. So Carrie and I got together going, okay, we'll do this. I said, you, you, you whip me, you whip me first, you whip me first. And you play like you're hitting me hard, and I'll yell. We did not think that my dad was going to stand at the bathroom door with a belt and told Terry, "If you don't, if I don't think you're hitting him hard enough, you're going to get hit." Oh, gee. really? So oh, uh, double win. I got a double win. Uh, I noticed in your premium line, these are in two boats. Absolutely. Is that the? The rest of them are in cello then? Yeah, yeah, everything okay. else is new um, cello play. That's good. Now, here's a key question. Do Ooh, they yeah. come with barcodes on them? They do not. Oh. Huh. <laughs> we got that. We got a fix for that. <laughs> okay, so every, every Wednesday, Cass, we do a um, trivia question for our viewers. If they come in and they can answer the trivia question, we'll give them three. Okay, so the trivia, but what would be a good trivia question on the uh, total flame cigar? Right. Um, let's see, we could do oh, something totally else to it. Like they could. Who's the wild out. thing named that? Yeah, they can't oh. ever look this up on the internet. Wild one. That's the wild thing. My bad. Wild one. So, why was the name the wild one? Who was named after? Who was named after? You want the answer? Who was named after Cassie? Was named after Cassie? Yeah, there was Ron involved. Why do you guys call it? Shout out to Sway So. <laughs> so, you okay. gotta say the cigar was after Cassie. You gotta tell the story of how the how he, like he told you. I mean, I love the accent. I mean, you just. Like I said, yeah, we were. Uh, <laughs> so we were in Vegas, you know, that's usually how these stories go. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, okay, but, uh, all right. Yeah. They wait for the book like that. Purple version. The what? I don't know. She wants to do any of that version. Okay. You already said Vegas. I'm a little nervous. So, but, all right. <laughs> but like I said, it was an incident around Bar in Vegas. Lots of rum right. happened. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> AKA the Why cigar you name the wild. Like I didn't know it. It was just an interesting story. So, if you come in and you can tell us who the wild one was named after, then. I'll put a three pack together. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. It was in the cheese. I'll give you half a cigar. Enjoy it. Now, I'm generous. Cassie, what we like to do on the cigars is we, oh, wow. we cut them. We talk about what, like you did, the wrap reminder filler. We cut them, usually do a uh, cold draw, kind of talk about what we get. And we're all, you're smoking which one? Wild? The wild one. Okay, so we're actually smoking three different oh, uh, cigars. So, three. You're right, not wrong. Can, uh, so we do a cold draw, then we light, and we kind of talk about the cigar, what we're getting as far as taste profile. Uh, as we and we talk about other mm -hmm. non-important items. But now on this cold draw, well, on the the bottom, uh -huh. it's 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 one O and two B. Right, two O's. 
Like bobblehead, right here. Yeah, bobblehead. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me about the, the filler binder and wrapper on this end. It's a Connecticut shade wrapper. Mexican and Nicaraguan double binder. Dominican and Nicaraguan. Let me see all that backwards. Because on the cold draw, I didn't get a lot of I different know. flavors. I kind of white part. Hey, it's very mild on the cold draw. Yeah. Pepper. No pepper. So is James is the same strength as ours, or just different, just a different shape? It's the same cigar, just different? No, 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 no. different ones. Different okay. Ours has Angelio in it, this one has Flamero. Yeah. Oh, this one has Flamero. That one's strong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, strength wise, they're going to be about the same. But mine is going to be mild That's all mild. the way through. Okay. Are you excited about that? Tiffany! Tiffany! Oh, hey, Tiffany! Hey, shout out to Tiffany for winning the uh, winning one of the raffles at the Saturday. That's shiny. Is it? That's shiny, Bob. You didn't go to makeup before. Where, where is the program director? You didn't even you to your makeup. Look at you on the screen, man. Look at you. Oh, that's going to be light. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, are, do you have this is information yeah. about it, Cassie? All right. Y'all been doing a lot. I'm smoking. I'm smoking too. You know what I mean? You, you, you really in this day, man. You're going, you came down deep. Well, I'm trying to. You kind of what? You trying to get some, get our of knowledge? Oh. So this, the oh, bright line. Man. Go on. The bright line has one, two, three, three. five different controls. Yes, yeah, so both the bright line and the dark line. That's the same size of the Yeah. Stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to kill me off all the way. Right. <laughs> you can bowl it off the island. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so, so what? I'm going to deviate just a little bit because. Now we need about three. Go on. Don't worry about it. You're going to deviate from cigars. Yeah, just one second. We haven't got that much into the cigars. We'll get back. We'll get back. But I've been dying to ask this oh, question oh, since goes. Saturday. Two balls. <laughs> We got Super Bowl. No. Super Bowl. I'm wearing lime green and gray. You're not tell us what underwear you got. No. Okay. This coming Saturday? I don't wear drawers. Huh? This? That is T. Free balling. Is that called Commando? Free balling. I'm okay. joking. No. I'm saying that I'm wearing. I'm coming in with sweatpants. <laughs> from that, you yeah. <laughs> You're wearing what? This I'm Saturday? Wearing, no, not this Saturday. January second. Will you give me what you wearing already? I'm wearing highlighter green and gray. Two San Antonio for the album on bowl. Like a boss. It's in your face. <laughs> You're. Who's on the album on bowl? Oregon and TCU. One problem. Woo! Go, go, go! Right down to all the uh. Where, where's that? I'm a duck man right now. Where are you talking? Why are you hating on TCU? I'm not hating on them. Why should I be? Because I like the ducks. I like Nike. I like Phil Nike. You like Nike. So are all the bowls games the same? Yeah. And you guys, when I walked in and said I got my tickets for TCU, they put out of my car. Right. So why are you guys dodging Oklahoma? Huh? We're not dodging Oklahoma. Michigan State jumped over Oklahoma by beating. So they went to three. We're just all out of cakewalk now, basically. Michigan State. Yes. You see that game? I wish they were Huh? That's the state right here in the Congo. Okay. So who do you think is going to be in the championship game? Oklahoma. I mean, you, you think Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. You think Oklahoma will beat Clemson? But you're saying Michigan State will beat Alabama. What you just said. Now, if I remember right, you said I asked you about football, and you said you just like to cook. I cook and serve drinks. I'm just not watching the game. Mark kind of woman. Yeah. If I, I'm in the spot. So, <laughs> I know her dad, and I gotta say hi to him, man. He was really good to me when I was in Amarillo. <laughs> not by choice. Not by choice. Amarillo, we yeah. But anyway, it was a great time to see our shop. And his name is one more time? Danny. Danny, shouts out to you. Yeah, thank you. 
a lot of things. I mean, the back office, the work shop. What? So he owns the shop? He owns the shop. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that how you got kind of into the cigars initially? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, my dad. Really? Yes. You do. I put it off. You're dad. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you are your dad. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm like that ingrained in Alabama. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. She could have said Arkansas. Yeah. 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 Fourteen when he bought it. For those of you now sitting down, okay, moved back in ninety nine, she was fourteen. fourteen. Right. You're sitting there figuring out what her age is. Okay. She got you a dark chocolate. You like dark chocolate? 
I don't like the little flavor. <laughs> 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 Alright, so you said leather, dark chocolate. Uh -huh. And little touch of spice. Little touch of spice. It's sweet. It's so are you getting any of the leather? I'm trying to put this back towards the <laughs> star. Oh, smothered in cup. Hey, who is that? 
Who's that? Come back on real quick. If you don't have the headphones, you got to know who's talking, fool. Well, they're flashing something. It looks like a, a box. I can't hear So, uh, hold on. I'm coming to hear you. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's true. She's talking, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So who's that back there? Is that Chris? Tell you what that? Hey. Oh. Okay. I said, hey, girl, how you doing, girl? Hey. <laughs> Put up in the air. Come on, right there. Put up in the air. Come on, right there. Come on, right there. I know you're nervous. Come on, right there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's going to do her hair. She's like, I ain't messing with you right <laughs> So, Keith, why did you pick the Malibu cigar? Well, got your act right? No. Ding, 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 ding. Several reasons. One is, I've been working on Monday on clearing out of the honeysuckle vines. Okay. So I've not had a cigar because when I'm in the midst of these honeysuckle vines, the cigar gets in the way. Gotcha. And, and so I've not had a your, oh, Chris, can you mute your uh, your screen? Every time you type it goes to you. Can you mute your screen, please? Okay, I'm sure it's gone. Uh, so I have not had a cigar today. Yeah, so I wanted to start, and I did not have I did not have the sausage biscuit and coke, so I don't have anything on my stomach. Okay. I have a vision on the sausage biscuit and coke. I know it, it, I, it's messed me up. I'm trying to think what I'm going to eat on my way back. To continue in the honeysuckle vine. Really? You know, I'm thinking. Uh, you. I will your burger right now. Wow. Yeah. And I will get your burger. Yeah, we're going to get down here. Okay. All right. Yeah, down here. Right down Those down there. Those steaks better are no cheap. Oh, I told you. Uh, they're not cheaper or less expensive. That's the difference. Speaking yeah. of uh, retail, speaking of oh, expense, that's what, yeah. what are the, the different ones retail for? It's not specifically, but. Yeah. You know, so this is going to be an $8 cigar. Okay. Retail. Which one? This one? The Bobber? The, the Bobber. Yeah, it's an $8 cigar. Um, the one that you're smoking is actually the most expensive. It's going to be 16 retail. Okay. And the bar one is around? It's an $11 okay. retail. Okay. Gotcha. So the bright line and the uh, and the dark line, that's what you call y'all's original. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, uh, the two original lines that came out. Now, the... The dark line, where this is connected, the bright, the bright line is connected, the dark line is what now? It's an Ecuadorian HVA player. Any more questions, sir? No. Are you sure? You're doing good, man. I'm impressed with you two. When you first heard this show, I'll be like this. Dead space. Okay. So now it's like you two can hold the show like your own, like a boss. Hey, hello. So, you got the big boy shirt off today. How'd you get it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You went away from children's place to the grown up home. Wow. 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 And the last game of the, of the year, we're going back to the game to see why we get that button kicked again. Which will be on the cusp of winning at 7 and 9 going to the playoffs. Well, I wanted to ask one question. Uh, and when, when, the, when the season started, there was a person, one person, in here who was addicted. What the record of the was beat. And there was another person who was addicted to the record of the cow beat. Now, ironically, when we, when we start thinking about football aficionados, Mm -hmm. You start looking at records and you start saying, who's crazy and who knows what they're talking about? What I say the record is going to be. Hey, Nate. Exactly. Who said the record is going to be? 11 and 5. Get off of that nonsense. You said 12 and 4. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, 12 you and did. 4. I remember that. Well, that was before everybody got hurt. Oh, my God. I said, hey, Nate. Even with the star players in the front of the star, who's the star? I'm sorry. Number 9, number 88. Hey, number 9 is terrible star players. Lots of star players. <laughs> Well, how did we go 12 and 4 last year? Well, because we had lots of games, but it's one by one corner, two corners, he's blocking cool field goals. I didn't see him. Yeah, Dan Bailey's he, the he, ball. He, he, he's Hall of Fame first guy. Yeah. I first got Hall of Fame with kicker. That's yeah. my team. Yeah. So, yeah. What I find <laughs> interesting, though, and I did watch, my son and I watched the Cowboy game. Not like he was, uh, Monday not night. He was like me. He was doing it. It was a painful game. It was a painful game. 
you have a defense. Cowboys defense was good up until the last three minutes, and how they let them score so quickly. What is it? 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 You know, I understand how come every single time in the game, these people put the free bent defense. The free bent defense. And because of the free bent defense, 85% of the time they score. Right? <laughs> 85% of the time they score. I don't know why very good for the victory, but I was not know I can get it. If I turned my head, I would have thought it was done. You're so cool. I don't know if you're going to be good. Now, he's going to be good. No, man, but the, the play call and stuff, man. If it wasn't for Deshaun Jackson and that dumb play, we would have lost that game. Why would you say that? What do you mean? Because on third and two, twice, okay. we talked about this. Okay. You pull, you throw the package in, you pull Dez out the game, you pull Terrence Williams out the game, you load up the right side. Nice, that right here is so hard. So they're going to tell you. And it comes down to the field. Right. I said, all right, you're just going to be this tough game over the way. He goes, why? That's the game. Right, right now, Mike is like your team, and who missed one, and he made ours. Right, right. But it's time management. Football so. aficionado, <laughs> rookie. Go on, what are you saying? <laughs> ah! It's time management, man. We should have scored that fast. That last, you that can't last tell second. the man fall on the one yard line, and baby, you got to get in, get in. I know in Arkansas, y'all play a little different style of football, which is why y'all would see it in the New York Championship. We saw high school just won back to back championship. Yeah, we are playing each other. We're talking about actually playing out of state. No, I look up for Arkansas. Ooh, I never heard that. Yeah, this kind of stuff just turns into my team's better than your team. Oh, my team is better than your team. We'll see next year when Arkansas. I thought you both y'all were Cowboys. Well, we start talking Cowboys. Oh. We, we both are Cowboys. Yeah, I was going to say, I know you're there. I mean, but what are y'all going to do in Cincinnati on Sunday as well? You've got to watch out. You can probably end up. That's what I'm saying. And Doug's at home. And Pittsburgh is, I mean, y'all put up 45 points. Like if, 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 if Ben, <laughs> if, if our quarterback and wide receiver have a game that they had this past. What about my quarterback and wide receiver? And it's all who? Green? Are you crazy? Man, you need to get show. You know how to <laughs> It could be a wild. <laughs> I mean, uh, Brown. Wait a minute. Antonio, what's the record? unbelievable. What a record. Because Nathan lost two games. Exactly. Lost. Did it ding 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> but I could use the cowboy. You know the thing is, but Ben can hurt. This is the only. <laughs> time, this is the only time this team will be sick. And Hank is going to say it all the time. Pittsburgh by way of Alabama. By way of. By way, way of. of. That's one Pittsburgh. And you my wife's from Pittsburgh. So why don't you work Pitt at? Because I'm doing college today. Okay, so Pitt, Pitt's got Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's Alabama. So, James, where are Lambo Sunday? He's not going to Lambo. Cam is going to Lambo. Send me your ticket now. Really? That's not. So, so you, go, you want to bet on the game Sunday between the Packers and. I've got the Packers by the two touchdowns. You're you're going against your team? I'm betting with my mind and not my heart. I just want my bottle. What bottle? Oh, yeah, don't think they like down now. <laughs> that special rum that... God, I don't know what Kevin's talking about. <laughs> so, Sam, I'll find out. Come on, my mom. Right. Okay. I'll have your bottle. I'll have your bottle. I'll write it down for you. Look at that. Talk to me. So, how many bets did you lose, son? Monday night. I want every Monday night. I had it cleaned up. I cleaned up. So Big Terry was in here and he said, I said, Cowboys are with the game. Oh, you little sucker said that. I am a football aficionado. I said it and I mean it. So I'm not. If you're not picking, if you're just look at it. They call me Fox Cowboys win to Redskins Stadium. Redskins win. But I said, where is that? They know what we win. I can change Polly. Yeah. On the show, I'm going to play back. All that time. was that Alabama would be upset oh. this past week. Of course. By Florida. A three point swing. Yeah. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Probably tends to be wrong sometimes. You can't Probably make any change. Yeah. Started saying that <laughs> Arkansas was going to win the doggone every week. At that point, in pocket change, they drank, smoked, and then some machine got 
So I'm afraid for pocket change. When you're taking this fool, man, oh man, oh man. Pocket change predicted Green Bay to beat Detroit last week. You, you and Cleo are going to be together. You didn't see this coming? No, I didn't see the cards instead. <laughs> <laughs> now back to cigars. What do you guys get? What did you get? I mean, you got not uh, I've got, I still, I've really got a sweet mm -hmm. nut. Now, <clears throat> very mild. The construction, which has been consistent all week. How about you, Shiny Bull? I'm getting a lot of uh, cedar for some reason. It's sweet. I'm getting sweet, but I'm getting cedar. Uh, it's still creamy to be that full body Lajero. It's still creamy all the way through. No, he has the Lajero. You don't have the Lajero. No. What well, and do you have starches right now? Yeah, in the fermentation process. <laughs> you do that? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look at me like, yeah, I told you that. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I'm very impressed with the uh, flavor profile and profile. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> both <laughs> both times smoked this last night and fell in love with it. That is true. I'm Trader Jacks and both the good, the good news is both guys moved from Trader Jacks. He had so has he. That was years ago. It doesn't matter. You started there. Speaking of that, even uh, R. Kelly has moved up. R. Oh, 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 oh. R. Why Kelly. Boy, you like that. Well, well, yeah, well I mean, we don't got the lotion, so I don't know. <laughs> go home. Yeah, he comes in now and he buys like uh, the PDR or Ciro. Uh, he's moved up. Let's see. He has going out. That's all. Oh my God! Caffeine and nicotine. No, go juice. And I'm good. No, no go juice. No, sorry. Okay. 
My doctor told me I needed to leave the green team. They told me more options, wrong products. Caffeine. All right. Thank you, bud. Next time you hit. I'll say it. All right, y'all. All right. Not going to happen. Put that on the screen, sir. It's telling me that it wants to do a scan like you. Well, and I'm going to turn it. No, no. Go on. Keep going. One back, Pete. So I was just telling him that I'm feeling kind of good right now. Did you have you eaten anything? I had a burrito this morning. What does that mean? So now you said this is a full body. I love this show. I have no idea what's going on. Why is it so hot in here? Like candy day. Hey. What do you have in your coffee cup? Just coffee? It was coffee because Cassie didn't bring the rum in. Why'd she bring the rum in? Yeah. Rather than eating that mix. Well, hey, it's afternoon now. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That is true. That is true. No, you're eating the whole lean What's wrong with you, man? You okay? I'm good, man. Smile, man. Smile to the camera. So if you guys missed the uh, brunch on Saturday, <laughs> go on. <laughs> you missed the epic event. We had a <laughs> What happened with brunch, man? Well, we had um, we had a caterer come in. Mm -hmm. uh, the food was awesome. We had shrimp and grits. Uh, we had a uh, red pudding with rum sauce. Um, nice bread. Yeah, very, very nice yeah. bread. It was uh, spinach and chicken quiche. I mean, it was she had these burritos, um, fruit trays, just all types of muffins. Um, yeah, man. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, there was not much fruit. All the other stuff. I know, exactly. <laughs> we had a huge melon tray. We had a kid and don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the, the highlight of the uh, brunch was we had a Bloody Mary bar. Yeah, you talked about that. Right? And then we had a mimosa bar. I like mimosa. Mimosa. <laughs> I remember my first mimosa. So, that's a joke. Mimosa has the first name. So, after <laughs> the Bloody Mary. <laughs> I got tired of Bloody Mary's with the spices. So I went to the mimosas, but instead of using champagne and mimosas, I used vodka. It was a good day. And James had fruit in his mimosas. Blackberries and. That was a long night. Long night. How was karaoke? Long night. Yeah? Yeah, I got you. You know, whenever you start the day with. So why did you use champagne in your most of the body? Now you say you want to shorten it. Because I started I started with vodka and I wanted to end with vodka. I don't like it. So you had a screwdriver. Yeah. So apparently there's a bar in Fort Worth that we're banned from because James broke champagne flutes. Reserve and you uh, donate five dollars or more, 
uh, we put your name on a card, on a cigar card, and we put it on the tree. Um, and then all the, like I said, all the funds will go to the, uh, to the children. So we appreciate your patronage on that. We want to be able to help those kids. So, so 100% of the money that's contributed goes to the kids. 100%, yep. And also, speaking of that, we're also on the 19th uh, of this month, next Saturday, we're teaming up with Greg Hardy of the Dallas Cowboys. Huh? Huh? Go on, Big Ham. Finish your statement. We're, we're doing a coat drive for a uh, what's right? Coat. Okay. B O A T. Coat. This is the Cowboys. I didn't say Johnny Manziel, so. Uh, but we're doing a coat drive. C O A T. Right. So the survivors get cold, and there are a lot of kids out there that uh, that don't have coats. So we want to be able to provide for them as well. So. We reserve trying to get back to the community a little bit. So get more details, just give us a call or stop by. We'll let you know. And you're not in the privilege, you definitely it's hot. Any cute clothes are considered from a man. It's a fashion use thing. You make it work. Sounds like work. That what does it say? Buffalo? Oh, Buffalo There's flowers on that. I know. I love flower girls. They're manly flowers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because they're very Exactly. There's no color over here. <laughs> <laughs> this cigar. Well, I mean, it's still like a cigar. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, it's interesting. This cigar has a very coffee streak. Um, so we can do more stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. I mean, it's kind of like you know, Connecticut's too much. No, I really don't. Long walk from Park and come a lot of but uh, you know I me, mean? I'm going black coffee, no sugar, no cream, every day, uh, day, and then you know dark to dark. I jump right in. I'm with you in the morning. Give me a Maduro and a black coffee, and let's get it on. This guy wants to biscuit and a muffin. Uh, sausage in the middle of a coke. Coke. Southern. By the way, did you stop by your place this morning and get your usual? No, that's what I was saying. Uh, I was selling caffeine. I didn't have it this morning. This is the first caffeine I had today, my coffee and then the cigar. And I'm right where I need to be. This might be where exactly that. I'm not on 10. I would say I'm probably on like 7 and a half. So you want to the phone? I don't. Anyway, Friday Avenue? No, no, there's nobody on the road right now. Just me. Just me. Just me. Couldn't be waiting. So you're on the Autobahn? Not the bar and got to Yeah. Not a whole lot. I'm in my own lane right now. Don't let them school you. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, now that you're on the bottom, you're on your, you're in the halfway mark. Will this change for you? Still no, I'm uh, still very creamy. I hope. I've still got the sweet, not real sweet, but mm -hmm. sweet nut taste. That has been consistent all the way through. Yeah, you'll get that all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, Cassie, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. Uh, go Mavs. Go Oh, thank you, Mavs. I went to my first professional basketball game. Really? Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, my aunt's company had box seats. Okay. What game was that? I should not just go away. Yeah, I got Don't that. worry about that. <laughs> All right. Um, she was at the game, but right. <laughs> right. So the Madeline third place right said, now. My gate frog cooking and bringing the beer. So she was at the club in line bringing food back to the people. Oh, really? No, we had a waitress giving that. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> you just a little flame and roll five. Pinky up. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, I that pinky right there. Y'all see it? Pinky up. Pinky up. Yeah, but I must say, now you're going to go watch. Yeah, your professional game box seats is the way to go. Absolutely. Yeah, I like course side. I'm going to sucker. I can't really see the game, though. But if you get a chance to course out Mark Cuban's with the first Yeah. Because that dude is crazy. He's crazy when you want to start. If you say, hey, you're going to get on my first chair. Oh, no! Go ahead! Go ahead! You're like, oh, this is so cool! <laughs> well, he's, he's one of the only owners that hey, fans Hey, hey, hey. Crap has changed. Start off as you know, nitty kitty, and I'm no. That's not where I want to go. But now wow. it's a different show. Right. Yeah. Game seventeen. So anyway. Game <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> anyway, but he changed. He's he's a diehard. He's always acting crazy. Right? He gets down with, he's just down that. Oh, Robert Kraft. But he, he he's man enough not to be that shadow that Joe Biden's owner was. Joe Biden said. 
Sue Johnson, sorry to mess with your name, I'm married to all, sorry. When Sue Johnson said, uh, no, everything was good, it's just shadow, it started coming around. Now, what do you do you don't have any pads on? And you got a coach, which is down here. Right. Right. We're like you down here. Go back up there and eat shrimp. Go back up there and eat shrimp. Well, I mean, I, I, I respect Mark because he is a fan person. And he has the best interest of his fans. That he told me that. Yeah, he's our fan who sat in the, in the, in the stands. And I, I know, like, way he was going to do anything about that. But he was in the section in the uh, Reed Arena. And when we sat at the home side, he was up. And I'm the first year, the second year. He was there, he came out the first year. So he got, he got the money. And he was always here. Mm -hmm. And he bought it because he said, no, I wanted to see it. Right. I, but that's the difference between two owners. That's kind of fun with the second one. One owner who cares about the team, who can make a mistake, who can make mistakes, who's smart to get himself out of being a GM, which he really never was. Mm -hmm. He wasn't the CEO of Mavericks. Right. He was. He had a CEO of Puzzle. Right. right. So he, he's able to be a fan. Now, when you're an owner who's involved in everything, right. You know, I'm and, and what I realized that at the moment when, you notice the All Star game has never been at the AC. Mark Cuban said, I will never hit the blood. Huh? Are you crazy? I went to it. <coughs> Met Paul Pierce there. when he was here. He came up to the Atlanta Social Club. He was here. The All-Star game? Yes. You're crazy. He was here. Well, I remember Mark saying. 2007 or 2008 was here. The Jerry's were. No, it was not. It was the AAC. No, they had the fan jam out there at the dunk competition. Yeah. But Cuban said, I will never have the actual All-Star game. There, but the uh, rookies play right. Right, because uh, Mark said that I'm not going to overprice my fans because my fans can't afford to go to All Star Game here, so I'm not going to do it. He said if they can't pay, then I'm not going to, you know, just let the celebrities come. So Jerry said I'll take it. Jerry man, I'm right about that money man. And so hence that's why Jerry got it, and it's never been the AC. I mean, Kevin like this. I mean, you can go out there and get seven, fourteen dollar tickets, you know. He does the price gouge. That's why they're still, they have the most consecutive uh, sellouts since 1999. Well, Long history. And the media, you do the dollars, five dollars uh, tickets every day. And he said, I want the real fan Because when the mountains mm -hmm. were good, he had a rowdy, a rowdy, he used to do the movie rowdy, whatever it was. They started overpricing the tickets. And when Drow came around, it was too high, and they started sucking tickets for cheese. A lot of the time when you go to Cowboy Game, four tickets, four hot dogs for ninety nine dollars. Shoot, ninety nine dollars when you get your parking pass. Then. That's right. Yeah, I remember back in the days when, when I was there. young. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> Someday, uh, no, at reunion arena, you could go to Brahms. You bought a combo meal at Brahms, you would get free mattress. That's Brahms? how bad it was back in the eighties. Really? Combo man, you know, you know, even when they lost it, and they had. Dumas playing and Eric Strickland. Oh man, it was a good time. Who was the Dumas? Dumas that rainbow shot. 10 and 72, I remember that. Then we got the three J's that met up with Tony Braxton down here. Yep. Down here. Whoop. Jimmy Jason and. Jimmy Jason. Jimmy Jackson. Jimmy Jackson, Jason Kidd, and who was the other one? Jamal Master. Jamal Master. You ain't no Maverick fan. You know, you're older than me, and I know more trivia about these two people than you do. No, I just have brain parts. You no. have some. That's all old age. All right, we got to start racing. Okay. Do we have to? Do we have to? Well, I was just looking. Do we have to? Do you want to? I'd like to. Oh, what the fuck is the problem? Okay. On my bobber, very light, mild, consistent burn with construction. I would not call it a this thing. Well, my palate is not a complex signal. It's the same consistency. Of, so I would not call this complex. I saw that moment. I did. <laughs> there was a moment in this room. Well, was it? I don't know if it's talking about you. I know. I wouldn't have been all about you. How about you? Is it complex? They're still not complex, but it's still consistent. It's still really good smoke. Why must we consistent too? I see your construction. How much you can't go? Yeah, you can't. God forbid she said somebody at her home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if she would give this or this, this for her own. The worst tasting thing I've ever. <laughs> what? You can get them all for a on a price at $2.99. Um, the construction, you guys, how do you go with that? I go thumbs up construction. Thumbs up construction. Yeah, but you yeah. have another question, you guys. I don't want to give a price point. Uh-huh. 
Uh, yeah, for years, we've seen the, the, the lighter side, the light side, and the dark side. They're going to range from 550 up. About 550 uh, to 850. 850, okay. Depending on size. Yeah. Yeah. So, how about here? How much? 11. 11? 11? And then I have 16. The 16 there has to do with the type of role that it is. Yeah, that's a good And it is 2002 stock so we always we always on the show talk about the big cigars as opposed to the heavy hitters in the game. So and that's how we kind of rate our press conference, whether it's barbecue or whether it's not. So I would say for anything with blue stone and stock for eleven dollars, I would say just John this smoke the front. The right side of this big is smoke the right. Overall, price, 
trucks and all that, I give this a thumbs up for an early morning cigar. Yeah, early morning. yeah that, that's what that's for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Big hands up. Overall, I really enjoy this cigar. I'm going to go thumbs up. It's not just because Captain's here. I'm not sure. Sorry. Well, the last thing about this show is it's, it's not biased. We don't get paid. Cassie didn't come on the show. She didn't spot us in one of the other shows. She gave me some. I got mine. So, you know, it's like a two. Right. Make sure you can take it. Well, it's all honest opinion. I mean, we've had reps on this show before that we've told to their patients. Don't stop. Yeah. Get out. Don't stop. Shout out to Scott. So, for me,